Magandang buhay! Ang ibabahag ko po sa inyo ngayon ay tungkol po sa Get Head Order Number 018 Series 2021 dated May 25, 2021. Ito ay ang Interim Guidelines on Giving of Awards and Recognition in Light of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan for school year 2020-2021. So, nalalapit na po kasi ang pagtatapos ng at ng school year 2020-2021. Kaya meron po tayong order na inilabas para po may guidelines po tayo in terms of awarding to our learners. So, siguro po, marami pong nagtatanong o nag, sa, uh, nagtatanong kung papaano nga po ba eh, wala pong face-to-face -face learning. Ano-ano po ba ang mga pagbabago in terms of awarding and recognition? So, ito po ang pag-aaralan po natin sa, sa video na ito. Pero, bago ko po ipagpatuloy, Mm, inaanyayahan ko po kayo na isubscribe po ang aking channel para lagi po kayong updated at pakiclick nyo na rin po ang notification bell so let's start okay so, academic excellence awards will not be suspended to recognize the time commitment and effort exerted by all learners as well as prom uh, promote a culture of excellence and growth mindset. Okay, so maliwanag po ah, uh, academic excellence awards will not be suspended. Okay. Uh, this DepEd order, so I implement po natin for the public elementary and secondary schools nationwide. This is school year 2020-2021. Okay. So, may mga awards to be suspended and meron din po yung mga awards to be received. So, ano-ano po yung mga masususpended? Okay. So, Academic Excellence Awards for Grade 1, 2, Grade 3, Grade 4, and Grade 5. Uh, wala rin po. Ay, masususpended din po ang Grade 7 grade 8 and grade 9 and of course for grade 11 so yan po una then yung pangalawa po ay yung classroom awards na yung mga binibigay po natin na awards na performance awards for kindergarten conduct awards and po recognition for perfect attendance so wala nga po o nga po yan wala po then yung pangatlo po ay yung grade level awards po Uh, yung mga binibigay po natin na leadership award, award for outstanding performance in specific disciplines, award for work immersion, award for research or innovation, award for club or organization achievement. So, yun po, wala, uh, masususpended din po yan. Then, yung mga special recognition po natin. <coughs> okay. So, awards to be recognized. Ito lang po. Okay. Academic Excellence Awards for graduating or moving up learners for grades 6, 10, and 12 lang po ang marerecognize po natin. Oo nga po. Kasi nga po, ang sabi ko nga po kanina, wala po tayong face to face. Okay. So, yan po yung mga awards na to be suspended and awards to be recognized. Then, uh, we have also the Academic Excellence Award na kung saan meron dapat silang uh, achieve na average. Okay, yung pinakamataas nga na karangalan po o yung with highest honors, dapat po ang average po nila ay 98 to 100. Then, yung susunod po na awards ay yung may mataas na karangalan or with high honors na dapat din po ang um, average po nila ay 95 to 97. Yan po yung mga basehan. Then, with honors or yung may karangalan, dapat din po ang average po nila ay 90 to 94. Okay po? Okay. So, 
as provided in the Deped Order Number 36 Series 2016, an awards committee shall be organized by the school head in every school for its grade level. So, for grade 6, 10, and 12. Okay. Alright. So, for small schools, kailangan po dapat ang awards committee natin shall be organized din. Organized din po siya. Dapat iisa lang po. Then, uh, the, com the committee must be composed of at least three members uh, from the teaching staff, the guidance counselor or the designated teacher. The total count of committee members shall be an odd number. Then, the next one is the chairperson of the awards committee could be any of the teachers or department head or grade level chairperson. Take note po. Uh, no member of the awards committee must be related within the second degree of consanguinity or affinity to any of the candidates for awards. Okay, so it is uh, very clear po ha sa stay uh, na binigay na DepEd Order number 36 series 2016 po. Okay, uh, there are steps for determining the awardees. So, for step 1, um, dapat uh, yeah, establish the processes of and timelines in accepting nominations and in determining qualifiers for academic excellence award consistent with the policy guidelines. Okay, so dapat ngayong month na po yan. May. Step 2, dapat nakapag-seek na rin po kayo ng approval from the school head on processes and timelines. Ngayong May na rin po yan. Then, step 3, communicate the approved processes and timelines on the school community. Okay, by next month po yan, June. Then, step 4, accept nominees for Academic Excellence Award from the class advisors based on the minimum requirements set by these guidelines. Those that meet the requirements are endorsed to the awards committee by the class advisor. Okay, so dapat uh, sa yun din po yan. Then, step 5, ensure the accuracy of the computation of grades of each of the candidates and check on their portfolio. Take note po, uh, they should check on their portfolio. It is written and performance test outputs. And uh, it, uh, they uh, will be supporting with documents like the class records, report cards, and other school forms. So for June to July. Then for step 6, submit results of the evaluation and deliberation to the school head for approval. Okay, papa approve na po kay school head yan. For deliberation and approval, so June to July din po yan. Then for step 7, ensure that the results of the evaluation and deliberation are communicated to the class advisors, parents, nominees and school community. Okay. So in case na may nagprotest, the awards committee will facilitate its timely timely resolution. So for June to July. Then step 8, announce of awardees. So June to July. What awards will receive? Okay, ito na po siya. Uh, the awards to be received will be with highest honors. Uh, they will receive gold medal. Then with high honors, uh, they will receive also silver medal. And with honors, bronze medal. Okay. Then how to conduct or conducting the awarding ceremonies. The awarding ceremony shall be held virtually po. Take note, virtually. No face to face. Why? To conform with the present ruling of IATF. 
school shall reiterate and communicate with the parents and learners that health and safety is the top priority or what we call the safety first. On the announcement of awardees, schools shall observe their compliance with Data Privacy Act. Okay, take note. With Data Privacy Act, by ensuring that no personal information of learners shall be posted without parents' informed consent. So, hihingi po muna tayo ng parents' consent sa parents kung gusto po nila na ma-post po yung mga uh, results. So, that's the time. But, take note, we should always respect or we should always be guided with the Data Privacy Act. Okay. So, ito naman po yung mga program of activities. na program of activities na dapat nating sundin. Dapat muna, uh, national anthem, and then, opening prayer, okay. regional hymn, pwede yung regional hymn, division hymn, or school hymn. Then, we have also the, the next is the welcome remarks, then inspirational message, then, Presentation of the school officials, teachers, guests, parents, and awardees. Then, conferment of awards. Then, the next one is message from the representative of the awardees. And the last one is closing remarks. So, yan po yung uh, nilalaman po ng DepEd Order number 18, Series 2000. 21. Uh, dyan na po nagtatapos. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. Uh, God bless and mabuhay po tayong lahat.